It's beautiful, Mama. When did you have time to do it all? Well, I couldn't sleep last night. It helped me keep my mind off things. You mean Luis and, and what he's been doing in New Mexico? I'm so afraid he's going to walk through those doors with your father in handcuffs. Oh, no, it, it can't be Luis. He needs the key. Good morning, Pilar. Hi. Teresa. Hi, Hank. You heard from Luis? Um, just that his plane's about to land in Harmony any minute now, so... Did he say anything about his father? No, he just wanted me to tell you that he was coming home. I'm on my way to the airport to get him right now, so try not to worry, okay? Thanks, Hank. Good morning. Good morning, Miguel. You're finally awake. I'll make you some breakfast. Oh, no thanks, Mama. I don't want anything. Besides, you must be tired. I saw the light on here pretty late last night. Why didn't you come in? I had a feeling you wanted to be alone. You okay? Si, claro que si. And why were you up so late? I couldn't sleep. I kept thinking about what Charity went through at the church last night. Well, we were there. What happened? Well, it, it was after you and Mama left. Charity got locked in the basement with a bunch of angel statues. Oh, my God. That's weird. Yeah, and that's not the half of it. She thought the statues were whispering her name, that they wanted her to do something. Pobrecita. It really freaked her out. I mean, then when we finally found her, the statues started moving. Like they were pointing in her direction. I mean, everybody saw it. Oh, it sounds like poltergeist or something. Luckily, Chief Bennett was there, and he was able to figure out what was going on. I guess there was a crack in the floor, and that's what made the statues move. But the whole thing really shook Charity up. I don't blame her. No way am I ever going down that basement again. <laughs> oh, Teresita, don't be silly. There's no safer place in the world than God's house. Your father loved St. Margaret Mary's. <laughs> he would go there every Saturday for confession and on Sundays to receive communion. Mama, don't do this to yourself. Christmas time was your father's favorite time of the year. He loved to decorate the house and... No matter how much I scolded him, he would spend every last penny he had to buy you presents. I wish I could remember more about him, Mama. Well, you were both so young when... But don't doubt for a moment that his family meant everything to him. Do you understand me? As worried as I am about what your brother will do if he finds his father, there's a part of me that would do anything, anything, to see him again. Will you both be going to the tree lighting ceremony? Oh, I have to, Mama. I'm on the school committee. Yeah. Unless you want me to stay home with you. No, of course not. It's Christmas time. I want you to have fun. I want my family to be happy. There's only one thing that'll make Teresa happy. If Ethan Crane's there. Well, I saw him last night at church. We were all alone. Just the two of us. Oh, it's extraordinary. What is? The colors in your eyes. It's like deep brown and specks of gold. Really? Uh, and more subtle colors. It's like looking at a Monet. I could tell that Ethan wanted to kiss me, but he still hasn't admitted to himself that he is in love with me and not Gwen. Did I see that? I am warning you. Ethan is committed to Gwen, and he's not going to let her go so easily. I can be patient for as long as I have to, Mama. Anyway, Ethan's not going to be at the tree lighting ceremony tonight, and I am glad, because he thinks I'm going to be there with my boyfriend. What boyfriend? <laughs> That's the problem. He doesn't know that he's the love of my life, and I am not ready for him to find out. <laughs> what about you, my son? I would, but I've got tickets to a concert tonight for me and Charity. I mean, after last night, I don't know if Charity's going to be up for it, but mm. I'll stop by there and check up on her. Oh, good. You can take Mrs. Bennett the ornament I made. Well, I better get going, too. Mrs. Crane wanted me to be there early this morning, so I'll call you, Mama. You know, I probably shouldn't wish you good luck with Ethan, but it's nice to see you smiling. Let's just hope she continues to smile. Stop worrying about me, Mama, and you take care of yourself. And tell Charity I said hey. I will. Ethan, 
Oh, hey, Teresa. Hi. Hey, that guy you like, he's gonna be at the uh, tree lighting ceremony tonight, right? That's right. Great, because I have a surprise for you. Oh, I love surprises, Ethan. What is it? Me. <sighs> Gwen and I are going to the tree lighting ceremony tonight. But you said I that... I thought it was the perfect way to convince Gwen there's no reason to be jealous of you. I don't understand. Well, see, once Gwen sees you with that boyfriend of yours, all her crazy fears about you will disappear. 